This recording is an overview of a two-dimensional hydraulic analysis performed in Kyle, Texas, near the intersection of Kohler's Crossing and FM 2770, which is also known as Jack C. Hayes Road. A two-dimensional hydraulic model was built by Civil E to figure out and quantify a flooding issue that we're seeing uh, near the intersection of Hallman and Jack C. Hayes Road, specifically how that might impact a recently constructed single-family subdivision. So let's jump into the HECRAS model. So we built a two-dimensional HECRAS model. Uh, the grid mesh was derived from a, a bare earth DEM that was uh, computed at a three-foot post spacing algorithm. Uh, that was reduced to a 10-foot computational grid mesh just for speed. We had two boundary conditions, an inflow hydrograph, which was used uh, effectively as a steady flow of, of uh, just a 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 CFS, uh, just a constant kind of hose coming in. The outflow boundary condition was set at a uh, normal depth. I will show you the results of um, some of those analyses. First one that we're going to load is going to be uh, 200 CFS. That's effectively 200 CFS going over the road. So let me make sure that one's active. And I'll back it up and let it animate so you can kind of see what it's doing. You can ignore the depths downstream. That's it trying to stabilize. So there you get a pretty good idea as to what's flowing over Jack C. Hayes Trail when you have 200 CFS going over the road or 400 CFS aggregately as the culvert's conveying about 200 CFS. So I'll load something that's a little higher, uh, maybe 400 CFS, and we'll pick a depth. And I will back that up and animate it. All right, that's probably a pretty good spot. So you can see the water breaking both north and south um, at 200. I'm sorry, at 400 CFS. Uh, there's a little bit of break down uh, Jack C. Hayes Trail uh, to the south in the bar ditches, and specifically down the road. Now I'm going to load one that's pretty close to the 1% annual chance or 100 year flood. I will uh, select that and back it up. That's probably pretty close to reality. So you can see it breaking over both north and south. Um, you can also see it breaking down Jack C. Hayes Trail. Um, specifically we're seeing about 80, 90 CFS on the north side over the road and about 400 CFS on the south side of the road. And that's pretty close to uh, validating the models that we were asked to validate. So we're, we're seeing very similar results. And that's all we've got.